My name is Juliana Hawk, and I help people who may or may not have been diagnosed with ADHD, and I help you go from suffering to feeling in control and productive. Welcome to Easy ADHD Coaching. So happy you're here today. And today we will be dipping our toes into unveiling the intersection of environment, ADD, and personal growth. And without further ado, let's jump on into things. So in today's fast-paced world, the convergence of environmental awareness, ADHD management, and personal growth strategies has never been more crucial. The relationship between work practices and environmental impact is a pressing issue that demands attention. Implementing sustainable measures in the workplace not only benefits the environment, but also enhances employee well-being and organizational reputation. Individuals grappling with ADHD often face unique challenges in various aspects of their lives. Recognizing ADHD as a performance disorder opens up opportunities for tailored coping strategies and interventions. Seeking professional guidance, adapting effective coping mechanisms, and fostering a supportive environment are key steps toward managing ADHD successfully. Moreover, Personal growth hinges on the ability to navigate setbacks and embrace change. By reframing negative thoughts from past failures, individuals can cultivate resilience and perseverance. Empowering oneself with problem-solving strategies and growth mindset paves the way for transformative experiences and meaningful progress. Remember, the power to change behaviors and overcome obstacles lies within each individual waiting to be harnessed for personal evolution and fulfillment. With that, without further ado, let's dive into how we can start addressing each of these areas. So as we know, ADHD and our environment greatly are impacted by one another. So what that means is our environment is where when we are sitting down to go do work and what is happening around us in our environment. Are we in a space that is conducive to the way we think and are we able to actually have output of our work by the end of the day in the environment we are in. So just to better understand, that is what, when I mention environment, that's what I mean. Are you able to get your questions answered? Are you able to have a space where you can either have music on or not have music on in a way that makes sense for you? So first setting up our environment that allows us to work and be interested in our work. Um, so then also understanding the impact of our environment with our ADHD. So just taking a step back to acknowledge, is our is my environment helping me succeed at work? And am I actually getting things done that I want done in the environment that I am in at work? So that is um, something for you to get curious about. So another thing that really plays a role in our, you know, environment and us to be able to get work done is to have coping strategies for individuals with ADHD as a performance disorder. So what that really means is in, a, in moments when we have a harder time self-regulating. So let's say a problem happens, arises at work in real time, and you're having a hard time dealing with this problem because it just randomly happened whether you're being accused of something or your work wasn't as wasn't uh, where it was supposed to be I'm just throwing a few examples your coworker said sent a mean email but they didn't mean to say it that type of way so in situations in real time when you are trying to deal with a problem and cope with what's happening in real time this is a great time to have self-regulation you know coping tactics and strategies, workarounds for you that can help you problem solve in the moment. So there's something for you to get curious about, you know, when you are having a problem at work, how are you able to let it go? How are you able to find, you know, ease with yourself so that you can keep going on with work and not leave that problem, bring that problem home with you. So it really takes some, you know, being honest and transparent with yourself to like start getting curious about problems that happen at work and how you can start maneuvering them. Because at the end of the day, we want you to be able to leave work 
without bringing work home with you. So, you know, how can we help you transition from, okay, I have a problem mindset to being, okay, I'm just working through this. This happened. How can I, you know, problem solve through the work day um, to help regulate your emotions? That's something you can get curious and start to think about. Um, and so another thing about, you know, our environment and ADHD and like this, you know, idea of it being a performance output with our ADHD is ADHD is also our perception is our reality, but also are we interested in what we're focused on? So if you are having a hard time staying focused on your work tasks or what is being asked of you, it's something really great is to ask yourself, like, what gets my brain going in the morning? How can I get my brain interested in doing this? What can I do to make this interesting for me? So these are areas for you to explore how to, you know, make work interesting for you so that you can get your work done. So I, you could also say intensifying your interests. So another, you know, viewpoint you can have is when you're having a hard time finding and connecting interest to completing work tasks and fulfillment, how can you add in creativity or character strengths so that you can be able to get your work done. So what does creativity look like for you in, while doing work that keeps your interest? So if you are someone who has more of a creative mind and works better with, you know, having, um, you know, doing work creatively, whether you're seeing your work visually, adding color, you know, having different, um, you know, using clay, how can you use creativity to your benefit to create interest for yourself? So um, moving on is like what I really could, if I could do anything for you as my listeners would be that you don't take problems that happen at work home. So what I, in a perfect world, we would be able to leave our eight, um, what happened at work, the problems, and go home and transition into a, a, you know, calm evening routine. So just, you know, to shed light that, you know, ADHD and, you know, having the ability to self-regulate in the moment um, to help us reduce the feeling of how intense that problem is in our brain and our body. So, you know, just being able to reflect on, how can I transition from my work day to my after like after work routine so that I can also be successful with my root lifestyle routines to keep me all balanced? Because I find for me that if I'm not balanced in one area of my life, it really impacts the other areas of my life. So we really want to focus on how can we make this doable for you so that you can live the life that you want. Um, also, you know, when we are another, the next topic I want to talk about is overcoming negative thoughts and behavioral change. So when we are at work, something about ADHD is our self-talk, our self-thoughts of how we believe of who we are, how we believe like ourselves, like being confident in our ability to be present and be part of this group. So what I'm saying to you is throughout the workday, if you are someone who experiences negative thoughts and negative emotions, to acknowledge those negative thoughts and emotions as they are occurring and to insert empowering thoughts about yourself. So something for you to get curious about is what can you say to yourself in response when your brain is saying negative things about yourself, like, oh, I can't finish this task. Oh, I can't do this. Like, I'm not qualified for this. Or yes, you are qualified. Yes, you can do this. So what kind of thoughts would you like to replace that are self-empowering to help you get these things done? So that's something for you to get curious about is, you know, what self-empowering thoughts can you say to yourself during negative thought times? <laughs> So that being said, um, if you are interested in learning more about how to empower yourself during the workday, or if you would like to learn more coping strategies and workarounds to overcome negative self-talk and how to increase your work performance at work by tying in interest and creativity, please feel free to visit my website to just schedule a complimentary discovery call to see if we would be a good fit working together. And as always, please 
um, keep up with your ADHD and yourself, you know, learning about yourself. And I am here for you. And I am one of your number one fans and you're never alone. So that without further ado, thank you for being here. Welcome to Easy ADHD Coaching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.